All right, guys, here's my anniversary gift. We're working for my company for over 10 years. And uh, I had many things to choose from, but this is the this is the best thing that fit with, with what I deal with. So here we go. Let's give it a whirl. So I just filled it up, like it said. There you go. See, there's the max line, and I've got the water in there. Just regular tap water. It's cool. Cool. And here on the side, this is what I'm going to put in there. This is a lighter I found in one of the parks. It's a, I believe it's a lighter from someone in the Korean community, uh, based on where I was, I was looking. Anyway, so let's go ahead and follow these instructions. We're going to see how this turns out. You guys don't need to read this, so I'm going to read it and do it. So I read the instructions, and it says to put whatever item I want inside the basket. So there we go. Let's place the basket inside the water. This ought to be interesting. All right, and then it says I can change the timer. Do that one. This is how many seconds it's going to run. So that's the highest. That's eight minutes. So that's what we're going to start. However, they also have levels here. Level one is low for like CDs and DVDs. Level two is for jewelry. And it says level three is high for glasses and waterproof watches. Well, that's a lighter I'm probably never going to use, but I want it to get all worked over. So we're going to do level three. Ye gads. That was pretty cool. A blue light. Doesn't really mean anything, it just means it's blue to make me think it's working. Well, I'll come back in a couple minutes, we'll see how, how it's gone. Alright, so we've got 16 seconds left. That lid looks a lot different than it did before. It was pretty clear before. I can't really tell that it's cleaner as far as the lighter. Okay, timer's up. Well, just looks wet to me. So let's go ahead and dry it off. I actually had cleaned this about uh, the day after I got it. Well, to me, it looks all about the same. But I'll put through a couple more cycles and see if anything happens. I'll show you the end result. I am not going to do much abrasion on there because this thing is supposed to clean it for me. I'm not supposed to clean it for it. Oh, let's see what we got down here. Oh, look at that. There's actually a lot of dirt down there. Okay, so it did do its job. First time I use it, so yeah, all that dirt's down there is is from this. It's not from anything else. It must be cleaner. Well, hot diggity dog. I'm gonna try that on some other stuff. I'm gonna do this lighter a couple more times. Woo! Blue light. All right, so I put it in four times. This is the fourth time. It's just about done. Remember that glass did not look like that. It actually looks pretty... can't tell if it's just gross or just fog. Anyway, seven seconds, so here we go. Bing! Alright. Yeah, you know what? I still can't tell the difference from here. But I can see down below, there's a whole mess of junk down in there. Korea. Yeah, that might be a little bit better than it was before. All right, so we'll put that down. Let's take a gander in here. Wowzers. The basket's clean. Put that on the side. 
That's a lot of dirt. All right, so I'm going to take it out, and now I'm going to do a necklace. But I'm going to clean this out first. Here we go. All right, so I cleaned it out. I think it looks pretty clean anyway. I think those, that's air. Little air pockets you can see in there floating around. I don't think that's dirt. And the lid. Clean that off. I'm going to dry it off too before I put in the next one. All right. See how clear that is? Well, clearer than it was. All right, so let's get that necklace. You might recognize this from one of my finds. And I had used a toothbrush and toothpaste on this to clean it out. It's a sterling silver piece. There you go, you can see the 925 on the bottom. All right, so we're gonna try it out in there. But I believe that's what this thing is for. watches and jewelry and the like. Okay, so we'll take this, stick it in there. Just slide that right about there. That should be plenty fine. There you go. Now it says in the manual for jewelry, jewelry, we want to have it on level two. Oh, that's not submerged. Now it is. <laughs> What's the point of this thing? All right, so we'll take that out. It says to put it on level two. You know what, we're going to leave it at that 180 seconds, so about three minutes. Wow! You can actually see it coming right off. You can see kind of like a dark cloud coming off of the necklace here and there. This thing actually works. Well, hot diggity dog. Well, when I was looking at, at the gift I was going to get for my 10 years, this being one of them, I looked to see how much this would cost on, on Amazon. And I believe it said $50, so I'm not sure it's shining up. So if you want something that will... Looks like it works. For 50 bucks, you can clean up your jewelry and stuff. So we'll take a look at this in just a second. We're down to 107, 105 seconds, etc. All right, so we got 16 seconds left, etc. Counting down. And I looked up what that part was, and it says in the book that it's a watch stand, the one that I was trying to use for this necklace. You can see back there those holes. There we go, that makes it a little bit easier. Those holes are big enough that the necklace kind of rattled itself into the hole. Wow, that's looking really good on that clasp. Hey, macaroni. Let me pull this out. <laughs> it's attached to the bowl. all the places where the necklace suck, sunk through the holes on the other side so I have to get that out. How are we doing dirt wise? Yeah, I got a little bit of dirt in there. Yeah. Look at that. I just cleaned that out so now I got some dirt in there. Let's see how shiny this thing is once I get this off the back here. There we go, that should do it. Oh, one more. There we go. So it's not a very deep dish. 
as far as that goes, it's probably, I don't know, about two, two and a half inches deep. That clasp is looking shiny. All right, so you saw the before. Let's take a look at the after. All right, George, I think that worked pretty well. Well, I'm satisfied with it. That looks great. I think I could sell this now. Woohoo! All right, guys, so all in all, I think I'd recommend this Brookstone Ultrasonic Jewelry Cleaner. I think it seems to work pretty well. I'm actually quite surprised. All right, good luck, guys.